just took off, and I'm like, that's just not like, how that works. I mean, even if they weren't as large as they are, they just ate a shit ton of food. I don't know about you, but when I eat that much, I'm not running anywhere. But that's just me. Yeah. They live a different life, I guess. Uh, Russ gets Sheila E, because he's like, okay, I've lost everyone, but I can't get Sheila. Yeah. And he gets her in the studio. She she records Holly Rock. Mm-hmm. But he can't get the record play. Pretty yeah. much everyone's like, yeah, you're dirty now. Mm-hmm. You're involved with JB. Hey, I don't want to be involved with JB. Yeah. And I, everyone tells him, "Hey, no, you're not. I'm not playing your record, man. Sorry, you're. Yeah. This is this is you're, paid for by dirty money. This is gangster and now, so I don't want nothing to do with you. This is gangster's money. I don't want any part of it. No, thank you. So he's just at a loss. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fat boys get their big shot. They do because uh, New Edition signs with a company in L.A. Yeah, and they will not be attending mm-hmm. the uh, finals of this thing. Yes. Uh, Show talent is it a talent show? I, I think, think it was. Show. Yeah, it was winner like a, winner gets a winner record gets a record contract. contract yeah, uh, and they win. Mm-hmm. They win, and Mark gets that girl he was perving on. Yeah, she leaves her big giant muscle bound boyfriend. Yeah. to be with Mark. And I did enjoy that he was crying because he's like, "But I want the I want the uh, the, the stereo. Where's our stereo? Oh, the second place kid yeah. <laughs> gets a stereo, stereo and like something else, and you get you cut to like fucking." Human What's beatbox, just yeah. trying to rip this thing from this kid, <laughs> like, and the mom's just trying to rip him off, and then like, just get away from here. Yeah. Well, we want a first place. We, is there a first place? We're just like, you guys want you a, a record, record contract. Deal. Get out of here. Leave the kid alone. And they're like, all right. <laughs> he just seems really upset by it. It's like, all right, dude. So I think this is where the fight happens. Yeah. Okay, the only reason I want to bring up the fight is because of somebody in the background. Chris Rock. On the phone, Chris Rock is on the phone there. Like, literally, like, a you can't, blink and you yeah, miss it. Yeah, but once you see him, you can't unsee him. Because it's Chris Rock. Yeah. Like, skinny as fuck, giant hair, 80s Chris Rock. It's hilarious to see that. But, yeah, that's all I How wanted to point out. How far along was it before Pookie? Oh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, Curtis pretty much says that he's out. Is yeah. he out of galaxy can you do that i don't know i mean no you can't but like basically because like the, after russ gets roughed up by some yeah by some tough guys some leg breakers mm-hmm. and like the most <laughs> like they kind of push him they punch him a couple times yeah. and then they go we'll, we'll be back next week to do the same thing and i'm like, like you didn't break any fingers yeah you didn't... just punched him a couple times like dude like, they, they lift him up, like, yeah. by his neck and everything, but, like, mm. It's like, if that's what you're going to do next week, I can handle that. You yeah. Know, I could deal with that for a couple months. Like, I'll just, like, carry a bat or something. Yeah, like, like next time you come, I'll just beat the shit out of you. Like, it's not hard, man. So, Curtis, DMC, and Jam Master J mm-hmm. pretty much all just take off. Yeah. They go, man, I don't know what's going on with you, Ron. And he's, like, counting his money. Yeah, he's, he's literally turned sitting into, there. like, this, like... Yeah. He's Tommy Gunn, all of a sudden. Yeah. He's been corrupted. Like, I just care about money. I'm yeah. like, I don't All think... he talks about is money and money, and they're just like, man, you changed. You suck. Fuck you. And they literally just walk Just like, out. you walked out on your brother. Yeah. Like... Like, you're not your, like... I don't your know Your literal who you brother. Yeah. Your family. For money? Yeah. Like, like, like I don't even money. know who you are. Yeah. And they just all get up and be like, fuck you. Fuck your shit. And he's literally just sitting there in his chair, like, hunched over, churning his money, and then he's just like, mm, fuck I don't need them, and then he throws the money and just like, fuck, I need them. <laughs> I know, it's like, I'm sorry, but run is not gonna work. No. You need something else. You need the DMC at the end yeah. of that. For no reason, hmm. random love scene with Sheila and Russ. Well, he shows up to her house, three in the morning, just tore up from the floor up from getting beat up. Yeah. But yet he's <laughs> got, like, Room for some loving. Well, I don't know about you, but whenever I get the shit kicked out of me, all I want to do is fuck. That... <laughs> like he goes, he comes heaving to her door. Oh, hey, Sheely. Well, I mean, it, it does start with him saying, I need a place to stay. Yeah. But the way he kind of offered and the way she kind of accepted was just like, really, I need a place to stay. Cause but she's, really. Because she's sleepy fuck. eyed. It's three in the morning. Yeah. It's like three in the morning, Russ. He's just like, I just need a place to. Oh god! Because <laughs> yeah. he's like out of breath and his <laughs> eyes messed up. Like, Cut to him lighting candles and them having sex. I'm like, okay, I guess he, that was quick. He, he recovered quickly. Yeah, like 
not, not to beat the power of a heart on, I guess. I, I guess. Don't know, I don't know. Man. He powered through it. I guess so. Uh, cut to run. Yeah. Coming to her apartment. Mm-hmm. Seeing the linen sheets all strung up, knowing that sex happened. <laughs> it does seem a little presumptuous of like, dude, this is a woman's apartment. It's entirely possible that that's just how it looks. He just gets in the apartment like, hey, you got your sex curtains up. You guys have... <laughs> Did you do it? You did it with Rust, you didn't, fucked, you? didn't you? Yeah. You fucked him out. Boom! I know before what those... Can, <laughs> before he finishes his sentence, she just hauls off and <laughs> smacks him square across the mouth. And I'm like, you go, Sheila! Yeah. Like, how dare you assume that these are sex curtains? These could be my everyday curtains. <laughs> Fucking bastard. How dare you? Like, it really is presumptuous as fuck to be like, these, I know you fucked in here. Yeah. I know. It's like, what, can you smell it? Like, see, what are you talking no, about? I see <laughs> the curtains. All right. The curtains are up. The curtains are up. Therefore, fucking happened. That means business went down. Yes. The um, place was a rockin' because those curtains are up. I know it doesn't rhyme, and I should be better at this since I am run, but <laughs> you fucked them. And it was Russell. Smack. I knew that, too. Like, smack, smack. Just, um... Wow, somebody didn't know what they were doing with the writing on this one. And then he runs over to Russ's, uh, who's just getting fucking the shit kicked out of him. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, this time, he's getting yeah. he's getting the shit kicked out like, of him. I, I, like, I'm sorry, sir, but you said I would get the same thing I did last time. No. This is different. And then they made it quite clear, it's just like, this is gonna keep happening until you get JB his money. It's like, all right, well, again, and you Russ already tries should. to jump yeah. in, and they just like throw him off and kick him and just like, get out of here. You're a rapper. Stop pretending to fight. It's um, just, it's so, again, why do you not have the money? And then the movie literally just wraps up. Yeah. They make up. Yeah. Uh, he asks, he asks, uh, 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 run for money because mm-hmm. he got that big deal from Galaxy. He's got all the fucking money. So in the world. he's just like, yeah, sure. No again, problem. My question is what happened to the money from pressing the records? What happened to it? Like, because yeah, that's the whole money. Thing. He gets the money from JB, and then you press the records. You, you press sell the record, them all. You sell them all. And there's his money back, and then you go, okay, here you go. Here's your five grand back. Thank yeah. you. Thank and you I guarantee loan. you, he made a profit and like and a little interest because yeah. you're a gangster. So but you again, want I guarantee you, he made a shit ton of profit because unless you're an idiot, you're not selling the records for five grand. How much do you think this, a record would go? Like a record? I don't know at that like time period, but I mean, no, probably less than that. Five bucks, a five record? bucks, maybe. But yeah. Five bucks times ten. 000. Five bucks times ten thousand. Like he's making his money. Yeah. Like that's fifty grand. So where's here's the fucking five money? For you, here's five. Plus, here's you your know, thousand on top of whatever the fuck it is. A, here's an interest because now I'm again, don't now, break my legs. Yeah. Now I'm sitting around with fucking forty four grand. Happier than a pig and shit, and I get to fuck Sheila and, E. My life is good, and I get to press more records. Mm-hmm. Now I also sign these fat boys. Literally, they're fat. And that's their name. So yeah, because halfway through the film, they're just like, yeah. "Well, that was we can't be the Disco Three anymore." You know what? We're just fat boys. Well, that Let's was, just embrace it. That was what ended up happening after the fucking the chase from the yeah. from the Sparrows. Is they literally sat there, food all over their faces, just going, "You know what? We're fat. We should just we shouldn't be Disco Three no more. We should be the Fat Boys." And he literally looks at him and goes, "Yo, that's death. Let's call. Yeah. Let's be the Fat Boys." Like, the fuck, really? That's how you're claiming this happened? Uh... Body positivity, Steve. I'm I guess. Then they have a big party at the end. Everyone sings. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the fat boys get in no problem to the club. They all have girlfriends now. Except they're not famous yet. Um, so I don't know where this is coming from. But everybody sure. sings a verse. Mm-hmm. They sing "Crush Groovin." Basically, mm-hmm. I think they collectively they <laughs> yeah. sing "Crush Groovin." Yeah, this right? is the yeah, it's the "Crush Groovin" tune. And then the film ends. Yeah. Again, not a movie. Like there, I don't know if I've ever seen a movie with mm. a plot this. Thin. Thin. <sighs> Offhand, I can't think of one. I mean, I've never seen any of the high school musicals, but I assume that they're probably the same way. But this one... <laughs> well, it helps that all the music was amazing. Oh, yeah. But... <laughs> and that is why... That oh, is absolutely. really going to help the, it's, this oh, film's fuck yeah. final score. I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's just... <clears throat> they More so than any other musical I've ever seen. They don't go more than five minutes without a full music track. Mm-hmm. And we're not talking like one, one and a half minute, two minute, like no, five minute tracks. So this is like a, so think about what I'm saying is it's an hour, the movie's an hour and a half and you never go more than five minutes without a four minute at least musical track. Mm-hmm. 
there's like maybe 20 minutes of movie in this whole thing. Maybe. Tops, tops, yeah. Like, it is so strange. 25 if you want to push it. Yeah. But out of an hour and like 35 minutes, hour mm-hmm. and 40 minutes, it's yeah. mostly music. <clears throat> it is. Um, as far as ratings go, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, seven buffet wraps out of ten for me. Mm-hmm. And my MVPs are the Fat Boys, because honestly, they're yeah. the best part of the movie. Best um, part of the movie. I will agree. Uh, my definitely my MVP is definitely the Fat Boys. They were always going to be. I knew that from the second I saw them because I didn't even because at that point I hadn't even looked like, up. Dude, who was the in ones the, movie. the guys like roasting. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> like that was the thing. I didn't even know they were in the movie because I didn't look it up yet. Like I hadn't I hadn't looked it up in a long time, and I just happened to start watching the movie, and I'm like, oh my god, like, that's you the knew Fat Run Boys. DMC awesome. was in it. You knew yeah. Sheila was in it. But exactly, the that. Fat Boys. Their name is like way down there, yeah. and I'm like. Oh fuck! The Fat Boys are in this. This is gonna be good. At least I know the rap's gonna be good because I love the Fat Boys. Because quite frankly, they're the only characters that have any development. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's not much. They go from nobodies to somebodies. Yeah, and that's the only real storyline progression that anyone really has. Exactly. And uh, my rating, I'm actually gonna give it uh, eight roasting fetal pigs. Oh, out an of 10. eight. Eight. Yes. Well, again, I love the music, and I had a really good time listening to the music. I don't ever want to watch this movie. But it did give me a lot of music I want to listen to, like, right now. Yeah. <clears throat> if you watch this film, yeah. and I would suggest watching it at least once just for the just for the music mm-hmm. of it all, mm-hmm. you will walk out of it wanting to, like, go to your Spotify and yeah. queue up Fat Boys and Curtis Blow and mm-hmm. Run DMC and Sheely mm-hmm. and even LL Cool J and yeah. Beastie Boys and all that. Like, uh, that literally, it, it gave me a shit ton of music to listen to, which is exactly why I'm giving it such a high mark, because I basically have been listening to nothing but Fat Boys and Run DMC for the last couple days, and I'm very happy about it. Yeah. So, that it gets a higher mark for me for that, for sure. So, mm-hmm. we will be sticking mm-hmm. to a musical theme. Mm-hmm. And we will be sticking yes. to fictionalized versions of actual events. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Sort of. As we travel back one more year back yes. to July 27th, 1984 mm-hmm. to look at his royal badness himself yes. starring Prince in Purple Rain. Yes. Um, Another movie where we're going to be like, not much of a plot, but hey, the music's great, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you're gonna kind of. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably gonna be somewhat of a repeat from yeah. this uh, from this week. Yeah, but it's his royal badness. Exactly, it's Prince. Yeah, and if you've ever listened to the Purple Rain album, you know that the music is absolutely fantastic. In fact, it might be his best album. Yeah. So, at least you got that to look forward to. The plot of I have seen the movie before. The plot is what it is. Is all I'm really gonna say about that. Yeah. But it's enjoyable as fuck. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so until then, mm-hmm. we're gonna get out of here. Yes. You were Steve. You were Justin. And we're way back and gone. I'm the king of rock.